Hey, Buff Nation voice of the bus, Mark Johnson here. It's old home week. Uh, some alums for the CU football program after a spring practice here just outside the stadium. We've got two big guys. I don't know if you know who they are. We're going to have them introduce one another to you. Now, Alex, we'll start with you. All right, so the guy to my left here is Jonathan Huckins, number 79. Uh, one of the best American football players to come out of London in uh, recent memory. People, yeah, London. We think of you as a Texas guy. That's right. Yeah, yeah. actually born in London. Well, to my right, I've got Alex Kelly, uh, played center for us 2012-2016. Fun fact about him, he scored the first touchdown in the 2016 season uh, against CSU. <laughs> Never going to forget that. That was memorable to the last second. A great moment in a great season. So let's bring us up to date here. Jonathan, how about you? Tell folks what you're doing right now. So I am still in Denver and Boulder. Um, I used to work as a chef. Now I'm selling food to restaurants. Uh, I just had a daughter that celebrated her first birthday last Saturday. So, you know, just happy to be around, happy to be a part of what's happening here at CU, so just really excited to still be a part of it. You know, a lot of times when offensive linemen are done, they slim down, they're not as strong as they used to be. That's not the case with this guy over here. <laughs> Alex is one of the strongest humans on the planet, by the way. You're, you're doing some powerlifting and teaching right now. I So I'm uh, I'm coaching now. Okay. So yeah. I'm a professional strongman. I do a little bit of powerlifting, but strongman's my sport. And uh, I was a teacher for about five years, but now I do uh, the weight room at Fairview High School and strength and conditioning out of my gym. When's your next competition? Uh, April 27th, so it's coming up soon. So ba basically the idea of the strongman is just to lift something ridiculous that is as heavy as possible and see if you can lift it off the ground, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I'll put a thousand pounds on my back and see how fast I can run with it or grab those giant concrete balls you may have seen on ESPN late at night. That's that's what I do. You know, my favorite guy of all time was Magnus Vermagnus, so that was my favorite strongman in history. Yep, he's, he's one of the... He's kind of on that Mount Rushmore of strongman. Yeah. yeah. Jonathan, how, how come you didn't get into this? I think, uh, you know, I think Alex is just too good looking. Um, <laughs> you know, he just got into it because he's just a lot stronger than me. Um, I got into the kitchen and I uh, was just standing and losing weight and getting weak. Um, but no, I, honestly, I don't know how Alex got into it because the, the, the strength and everything that he's been able to accumulate is – honestly unbelievable so yeah if you ever want to follow him ak underscore power coach at instagram that's a shout out right there um fantastic content fantastic two two things here before we let you guys go you were both part of that 2016 season which was a great year top 10 team went to the alamo bowl what's your greatest memory from that campaign i think i honestly i don't have any one that sticks out of my mind but my greatest memory is how we all came together as a team, you know, because those first three years we would we would play games really close, but we would lose. We would play games close, lose. All of, all of a sudden, our senior year, everything just kind of came together. We all came together as a team, and all of a sudden we started winning those games that we would lose by three, five, seven points. We started winning those by that much. Yeah, great character in that team. Jonathan, yeah. how about you? I, uh, I would agree with Alex fully. You know, I think us coming together – that being said, I think one of my favorite memories was beating Utah, being the victory position on the field, and then having those fireworks go off when we won the Pac-12 South. It was, it was one of the most memorable things, you know, in my football career. Just having that excitement and being on the field for that, and being able to, you know, share it with the guys like Alex and all the other teammates that, you know, we try to stay in touch with, you know, to this day. Yeah, magical campaign. Lastly, here, boy, things have changed around here. You got Coach Prime. You got national attention. Just kind of fun for you to watch being a former buff. It's so much fun. Like I was just walking down the hallway today, and Warren Sapp comes up and says good morning to me. And Dion asks if I have any more el eligibility. I'm like, I mean, find me a COVID year. I don't know. I'm I'm ready. <laughs> It is a lot of fun. Jonathan, how about you? It's, it's got to be fun for you guys to sit and kind of watch what's happening with this program. Exactly. You know, seeing what, you know, I know that Alex and I would like to think that we were a big part of and, you know, seeing not just Colorado, but the whole nation really understand what CU is about and where we can go and what we can do is is really exciting. So I'm I'm really excited to see what we what we do in the future and what we can kind of accomplish as a team. Yeah, these two guys are part of a great, great campaign in 2016. Jonathan Huckins, Alex Kelly from the offensive line, and they're watching Coach Prime as they get ready for the spring game coming up on April 27th.